Hi everybody, I'm Mike McCrory and this is Would You Make It? I have a friend that lives here with his wife and little baby and all the rest of the family lives in France. So every weekend they have video calls going back and forth. What they really need is a stand for their cell phone to make it easier to manage. So I've got some leftover cherry and a little thin piece of walnut that will be perfect for this. So I'm going to make a stand for the cell phone that will turn and swivel and be adjustable. So let's get started. I start by rough cutting the cherry into 10 inch lengths. That'll make it a lot easier to joint um, instead of jointing the whole 44 inch long piece that I have. And I joint the face a couple of times and that gives me a nice flat surface so that I can run it through the planer. And I'm planing it down to about a one inch thickness. I'm going to rip the cherry to be three inches. Um, since the cherry is one inches thick, then that will leave a hole that's one inch square in the center. I'm going to join the pieces with a box joint, so I'm marking the ends so that I have a reference mark, and I'm labeling two of the pieces to be A and, and the other two pieces to be B. So that represents the fronts, the front and the back, and the two sides. I'm using the Incra iBox jig for the, the box joint. Um, you can use a homemade jig if you like, but I really like the precision that this one offers. The dado blade is set to be a half inch wide. And when I finish the first A piece, I flip it over so that the reference point is pointing toward the center and it butts up against the reference point or the reference mark on the B piece. And this is so that I can set it up so that the two pieces will mate correctly. And then I remove the A piece and continue cutting. Now I've put the tower together, just a, a dry fit to test it. It's pretty tight, so it wasn't that easy to pull apart, but uh, I do want a tight fit, so that's good. Now I'll glue it up. I don't need to be too careful with the glue because I'm going to sand the entire outer surface after it's glued. So I'm applying it pretty liberally to make sure that I have a good bond. It all fits together very nicely, so I'll clamp it up and let it sit overnight. So while the box joints are gluing up, um, I'll call that piece the tower, um, and then there's a column that's going to extend up from inside the tower. So while that's gluing up, I've got another glue up to do. I've got this 3 8 inch thick piece of walnut, and this is going to be the holder for the cell phone. There's going to be a little ledge down at the bottom to hold it. This is 3 8 inch thick and I need a way of attaching this to the column that's coming up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this to be 6 inches by 6 inches square. That should be sufficient for most cell phones. 
and then I'm going to cut a strip and insert it down the middle so that it's perpendicular to the board. And that will provide me with something that I can use to attach to the column. I think it'll make more sense as you see me make it. I'll cut the six inch square piece first. And now I'm cutting it down the middle into two three inch pieces. And this piece is about two inches wide. This will go perpendicular to the stand. And I've drawn a curve on it that I'm going to cut out on the bandsaw. And then I'll drill a quarter inch hole at the back. Um, this will be used to fasten it to the column. And now I'll glue it all up. So I've measured the interior dimension and it's one and a sixteenth inches. So I'm going to create this rod that comes up the center and I'll cut it to be exactly one inch. That'll give a sixteen inch clearance, which should be enough. Now I'm cutting a slot in the column. This will be the thickness of the walnut. And I'm using a tenoning jig just for safety. Now I'll drill a quarter inch hole. I've inserted a piece of walnut just to make sure that it drills nice and cleanly. And now I'm passing the tower through the drum sander just to clean it all up. To allow for vertical height adjustment, I'm drilling quarter inch holes uh, one inch apart and there will be about seven or eight holes here. And that will allow, with the help of a pin, to raise the, the cell phone up. And I'm using the router to route a groove down the length of the column. And this will be used in case you want to use a power cord. And I'm also going to put a power cord groove in the bottom of the base. So I'm drilling a hole in the center, inserting the router bit, and then cutting across. Now I'm going to cut the base into a circle, so I've got a little jig. Um, 
the base is going to be nine inches in diameter. So I've marked a line that's four and a half inches from the center of the bolt. And I'll cut through the base to the midpoint and then stop and clamp the base. And now it's pretty simple to cut the circle just by rotating the piece. and then I'll clean up the edge of the base on the belt sander. And then I'm using a quarter inch roundover bit on the top surface of the base. I'm using a 3-inch Lazy Susan bearing on the base and I'm just marking the holes here. While I have my roundover bit handy, I'm going to round over the corners of the tower. And now I'm drilling eighth inch holes for the screws. And I'm using a Forstner bit to cut a larger hole in the base. That way I can bring the wiring up for the power. And now I'm going to mount the bearing onto the top portion of the base. Drilling holes for the screws. And this portion actually screws into the underside of the top portion of the base. And now in the column I'm drilling a little hole for the pin. And the pin that I've made, I'm just uh, sanding down the end to make it easy to insert. Now before I put the bearing back on, I'm going to just apply some mineral oil. It's easier to do it now than after it's all assembled. And once the top portion of the bearing is screwed into the top piece, the bottom portion screws in from the underside of the bottom. So after all that, I feel like this is just a little bit too tall, partly because of the swivel portion of the base, which adds about two and a half inches. But I think overall it's about four inches too high maybe, so I'm gonna just cut the bottom off. Um, that'll make a nice pencil holder or something. The tower is mounted to the base simply with some wood glue. And I'll finish it up simply with some mineral oil. 
that'll be easy to maintain and it will look quite nice. So it's big enough that the phone can stand in a portrait mode or landscape. So I gotta ask, would you make it?